She loves animals. She changes her hair every other week, really. She likes to eat cherry tomatoes dipped in salt, and her puppy has just had babies. Girls, 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 girls. Oh, no. Looks like you've caught me with no makeup on, but since you're here, you may as well stay and watch how it's done. And fortunately for me, I've got Liz here who helps me put my makeup on. So I'm really lucky to have her, otherwise, God knows what would happen. Since I've been in Girls Aloud, I've definitely become more aware of makeup. I was never really into makeup that much beforehand. So, yeah, especially with what we do as well, you know, lights and stuff like that can bleach a lot of it out. So we have to wear makeup for TV and stuff like that. And also, you never quite know when the paparazzi is going to catch you out. So you always want to look reasonably well. Have a little bit on. Else you say yourself in the paper a week later with spot cream on your face. Yeah, I did get caught with spot cream on my face and no makeup on. And it wasn't a nice thing to look at, so I've definitely been made more aware of it. And I like to keep on top of, you know, my eyebrows and stuff like that, so I'm more aware of everything on my face now. I normally tend to have my little makeup bag, and what I would have in there is the face and body foundation that's really light on your skin. It's like a second skin almost, just to, you know, cover it and make it all look one tone. I would have a little bit of lip balm for your lips just to keep them nice. I'm a little bit embarrassed at the state of this makeup bag. Eyeliner. I would only put a tiny little bit on. You can see I use it quite a lot. But if I was to go on a desert island and I had to have a necessity makeup item, it would have to be my Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. And that's because it has lots of use. It is a skin protectant. I would put it on the cheeks for a little bit of a dewy look. I would put it on the lips for a little bit of a gloss. And it's also got um, medicated stuff in, you know, for minor skin irritations and stuff like that. So it's very useful. You can also put a little bit on your eyelashes or your eyebrows before you go to bed. And it helps them to grow, apparently. I always make sure before I go to bed that I've got every bit of makeup off my face. I wash it with a face wash thoroughly and moisturise it so that it can get cleanse itself overnight and rejuvenate itself for the morning time. I would never go to sleep with a full face of makeup on. If I've got a spot, do you know any quick ways of getting rid of it? Well, there's loads of different spot creams out that you can use to dry them out. You used a really good one on Nicola there. Yeah, I used the Origins spot remover. that toothpaste, good old toothpaste. Does it work? It's the best thing ever yet. Just dries it, draws it out and dries it out. I always use toothpaste. Mm. On myself, yeah, it's easy, but obviously you can't walk around with toothpaste on your face. So if you can indulge yourself and buy something like Origins, that's... Yeah, I've also really used Sudocrem before, which is actually on the top. It's some... for acne, it's for baby that's rash. That's right, that's right. Some but it works. Do, some people do use Sudocrem. Okay, so we're all prepped and ready to go. Just going to set your eyebrows. Cheryl's got wonderful eyebrows. She's growing them all back and all gorgeous. I plucked them within an inch of their lives about a year ago, and that was a big mistake. Don't ever do that. Don't pluck them too thin because it's really not a nice look. You want them to be a normal size, but a nice shape. And it's very so, on trend now to have if you can get brow. If you can get somebody, if you can get somebody to wax them, they That's can shape threading. them for you, can exactly. or threading. Threading's yeah. a really good thing for eyebrows because it can get the tiniest, tiniest little hair out. Yeah. Just don't get tweezer happy. Just don't <laughs> get too happy and take it all off. It's really not a good look. So we're all ready to go. Start with some cheeks. We like to use cream blushes. It's a bit more youthful than using the powder. So and fingers. sometimes with powder, when you put the powder on, you can see it, can't you? Exactly. It sits on top of the makeup. So we're going for a little cream blush. Day wear cream if we were on TV, day. we would use powder, wouldn't we? We would. We use quite a lot when we're on TV. We kind of go to the extreme. But as this is like Cheryl shopping, 
with his benefit. And, and I'd just like to straighten up that I don't have Liz over when I go shopping. This no, is surely for your benefit. <laughs> I just put a little bit on myself. So we've got a cream blush. And apples of the cheeks. Like a rosy, healthy rosy colour. Sometimes as well, let's say if you smile, when yeah. you put, you smile, apply the... You'll get the apples of the cheeks. They're what you call the apples. The apples. There you go. So over to you, my love. This is when you say the look all come together. I always leave mascara to the last, don't we? Yeah. Especially if you're applying the likes of eyeshadow because sometimes it can fall in your lashes That's and make right. them the colour of the shadow. So I always put on my own mascara. Not that I don't trust Liz, I just prefer to do my own. Okay, so when I'm putting on my mascara, I tend to try and get every single eyelash, even the tiny little ones in the corner because it makes you look like you've got a fuller eye. Also, I'm quite fortunate in a way that I've got quite long eyelashes, but so I do use a thicker mascara to thicken them. And if you've got really short eyelashes, you should use a lengthening mascara to lengthen them. So that's the trick. I would apply it underneath my eyelash first and then maybe put a bit downwards on the top just to give them a little bit more thickness. Should we go? Yeah. 